When you're busy completing your EMP501 recon and you want to save or file the information, it does not want to save it and returns an error saying the ETI calculated reported on the EMP501 does not balance with the IRP5 IT3A certificates. There are three possible solutions to this error and we will now be discussing each of those solutions. When you generated your IRP5 live file, a summary report will print. On this summary report, you will have a breakdown of your monthly ETI values. It will list each month as in the example provided there. You will have an ETI value with each month. If you add every single month's ETI values together, it will give you a total of 4,872 Rand and 26 cents. If you go back to your EMP501 declaration and look at the ETI values on your ETI recon, you will notice that these are all rounded values. If you compare the values in the report, you will note that those values include cents. So the rounded value will come to 4,874. On the ETI recon, there will be a block with the ETI calculated per IRP5 IT3A certificates with a code 4118. You will notice that the value is exactly the same as the value on your summary report when you generated your IRP5 live file. The challenge comes in that EasyFile rounds the value in that ETI calculated to 4,872. And when you compare this to the monthly rounded values of 4,874, you will note that it's out by two round. So the reason why you are getting the message is that the values are not balancing due to rounding. What you do in this instance is to go to your ETI recon and look at each of the month's rounded values and either round it up or down so that you can balance back to the total rounded value of 4,872. The other possible solution is you are doing a multiple company export. If the values reported against 4118 on the ETI recon on EasyFile is zero, investigate if you are doing a multiple company export. We have found that in some instances, there are non-monthly and monthly companies on the same pay as your earn number. Therefore, all the companies that are included in the IRP5 run have to be set up for ETI. And if not all of them are set up, then the ETI will not export. All you have to do in this instance is just to access the basic company information screen and make sure that the eligible tick is on in each company. Once you have done that, generate your IRB5 files again, import and redo your declaration. Our third possible solution could be that ETI adjustments were done on the payroll. If the values reported against 4118 on the ETI recon and easy file are different to what you declared on your original EMP201, investigate which months are different. You can use the values printed in the IRP5 IT3A summary report for ETI and compare each month to the value displayed on the ETI recon. If the ETI values were changed on the payroll and the EMP201 was not amended, the recon will not balance. You will need to determine if the payroll system is now correct or incorrect and make the relevant changes. If ETI values increased on the payroll and it is correct, 
you can only claim the original amount as the time has now lapsed for any ETI changes to be made. An ETI take-on will need to be done to import the original values. If the ETI values are less on the payroll and is correct, you will need to reduce the ETI value on the ETI recon accordingly, and this will then impact your recon showing you owe SARS.